this one is what's known as the fern hive because of the colour. Have a quick inspection and top up their feed. If you haven't already seen when you see me dropping wax on the floor, nine times out of ten it's going to be into a bucket of wax. A bucket of clippings and scrapings. So there's a feed on this one. They're not necessarily taking it down, but they have been. If you can see, they're in the top here. They're only going to take what they want. The super was removed. They're not a very chunky colony compared to the others. These two frames will be empty. Started to draw that out, but they've given up on it. So they've got food in here, pollen. Capped food, obviously, up at the top here, honey. Most of that's their own, you can smell it. Growing this side out, they're starting to put food in. Capping it here. I don't know what you can see, what you can't see. Really. There's a queen. She's one of our own reared queens. gone. She's gone on the other side after that. There she is, just on the top of the bar. Now these colonies have not been tread for Varroa or anything else and they had a brood break where this queen and the queen in the green hive behind this one stopped laying so they've naturally reduced their own numbers so this one i'm going to be breeding from again next year i don't know if you can see it so i'll be grafting from this colony beautiful white larvae in there and I'll be taking drones from another this was a drone frame and they've altered the size of the cells or well, they're altering the size of the cells and at the moment they're using it obviously for food There's brood here. They're bringing food back into the center and there's still cap brood there. Pollen and nectar stored. Brood on this one. Larvae still in the center there. If you've got eggs in, 
if you were to say I'm kind of creating my own shadow and then they're putting stores into this thinking these would probably weather winter a little bit better in the six frame nuke shall I shall I well they're cleaning these out so they can put food in there this side move them along and then that one can be a store for them I may come back to this one I may change it out into a six frame and you can make it smaller I'd normally close the bottom off I think for this one and then I'd insulate take up the space with Celotex for winter bit of death on the bottom so it must may just be old age Let's see if I can get them out undertakers here they are trying to drag them out a little bit some have caught in the wax just with their legs the rest a bit of death I do clean down this gravel I know it sounds odd to say that I, that I do but uh, I do and the frames leave it as it is because they're all right Lower that. That's them done, really. I think I want to leave them as they are, just decided. I'll pack these out with Zalatex. That's still clean enough and fresh enough for them. Use the top of my head.
and again as I've said in the other videos for the other hives I'll take this off take the crown board off for winter insulate the roof drop this down to a feeder you could just a small maybe two inch inch and a half frame it was an inch last year which did them quite well and it was it was good for them because all I need to do is just quickly lift the lid drop any fondant in that I need to any pollen coming out of spring just to give them an early boost and that then is straight on top of the frames and there's very little space between the tops of the frames and the insulation so I'll, I may do that well I did forget just to put those frames back in makes no difference really I suppose if these are in or out because they're not doing anything to them but it's just somewhere to keep them It's unlikely that they're going to fill this space anyway, even if it was left. Watch your head. Just built a little bit of syrup that will encourage them to come up. They'll ting, they'll find that, take it up. So this queen, I'm either going to use for drones, I'll see if she comes out the spring. She's either going to be used for drone laying or grafting. I'll just see what her laying rate is when she comes out the spring. There's already a frame, drone frame in, in there anyway. So I may think about this over the winter and see in the spring which one of these two I want to use for drones and which one I use for breeding. This is my favourite queen though at the moment for, for breeding or for grafting from. But again, that's it. Thank you for watching.